Well, earlier in the show, we were talking about Time Techno Plus. In fact, the company had bagged an order worth 210 crores for supply of high-pressure PV pipes from an EPC contractor. To discuss this and more and get more details on the same, we're joined by Mr. Anil Jain, the MD of the company. Hi, Mr. Jain. Thanks so much for uh, joining in. Sure. Give us a few details. Uh, this order of around 210 crores, what's the time period that you have to execute it in? And also, in terms of this product, PV pipes, as of now, what is the contribution to the total revenues? Okay. The P pipe, let me start from the end. Uh, P pipes is about 10% of our total uh, business. Uh, but it's been one of the fastest growing uh, segments that we have. We actually came in just uh, in this business about three or four years ago. Uh, the P uh, pipe business is uh, overall in India is growing because uh, there's an impetus on uh, infrastructure projects. This pipe, the order is for, uh, for water supply projects. And there's a lot of uh, investment from the government in this segment, so the demand is pretty strong. Uh, we are supplying it to a, the largest EPC contractor in the country, and uh, we have uh, is a good order book uh, for the current year and the next one, and this will get added on there. We, we are required to deliver it uh, within 12 months. Uh, uh, probably it will go over to uh, the next year end or might spill over to the uh, to 2021, uh, 20, but uh, 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 but we have uh, quite a lot of contracts for the next year as well. So it uh, looks like we are uh, well placed for our entire capacity, which can at best do about 480 to 500 crores. Right. Okay, just to get some more numbers on your PV pipes business, what is the current order book and what are the kind of margins you make? Are margins in the uptrend given how strong demand is? Well, yes, I mean, historically, the uh, PEPI businesses have been getting a bit of margin of about 10 to 12 percent. We will be uh, above the average uh, because uh, uh, the demand is uh, pretty strong. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, like I said, this is only about 10 percent uh, uh, of our total revenue, and we will uh, uh, be able to uh, meet uh, this uh, requirement. Next year, uh, we are expecting some major contracts also coming in, and uh, and uh, we, uh, we will see that uh, the order book actually gets uh, further decreased. Our current order book is about uh, 200 crores, and this is an add-on on top of it, please. All right, so 210 crores plus 200 crores, totally 410 crores is the pending orders uh, in the PV pipe business. Is that That's correct? Right. That's right. And you're saying that, uh, you know, expecting more orders, Mr. Jain, do you have the capacities? What is your current capacity utilization levels in this uh, segment, <coughs> PV pipes? As a matter of fact, uh, uh, with the capacity that we have right now, we can do a turnover of up to 480, uh, 480 crores. So it looks like uh, next year we will be able to pull through, but maybe towards the end of next year we may have to increase our capacity. Okay. Now that's about 10% of your revenues, the business that we're talking about so far. How is the rest looking for the first nine months? You've done revenues of close to about 2,500 crore rupees. What are you likely to end the year with? What is the projection for F520 or the demand trends? Okay, I mean, as you know, historically, Q4 had always been our strongest quarter. So we expect uh, Q4 to do very well. On on overall basis, we expect uh, in the current financial year, we will be growing at about 14 to 15% as compared to uh, the last year. Uh, and this is a growth momentum we have been maintaining, of course, uh, uh, about 15%. Uh, I think that will be maintained in the next year as well. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Jain. Uh, thanks so much, sir, for stopping by and giving us all those details. All the best uh, for the remainder of this year as well as next year. As I said, 10% of the revenues comes in from PB pipes, but uh, they're growing at a fast clip of around 40%. Well, time to slip into a short break on that note. Up next, former managing director of McKinsey, Rajat Gupta says he's innocent and not an inside trader. That exclusive conversation on the other side.